Hey Cafe Crew, it is speed test time. So today we're going to be pitting all these machines against each other and finding out exactly how fast the new Mac Pro is. And we're going to be doing some tests in Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere Pro and After Effects. <laughs> All right, our contenders for this speed test is we've got two of the brand new Mac Pros. Both of them are exactly the same configuration, except for the video card. So both of these are 12 core. They have 48 gigs of RAM. And this one here has the eight gig Radeon. And we're gonna compare it to the one with the 32 gig Radeon Vega Pro 2. Um, with the difference between these is a whopping $2,400. Then we're going to be comparing to the brand new 16 inch MacBook Pro. This one is fully loaded. It's got the eight core. It's got 64 gigs of RAM. So it's actually got more RAM than these guys. And it also has the eight gig video card in it. And then to give something that you guys can relate to, uh, we are also going to be comparing it to the machine that I'm replacing, which is my Mac Pro. And this guy here, is the trash can Mac Pro. All right, so for the challenge, I've prepared some different speed tests. And the first one we're gonna be doing is in Premiere Pro, we're gonna look at some different challenges and what I'm really interested in is seeing how capable these machines are when it comes to rendering. And we're also gonna have a look at, you know, just to see how smooth the video plays back. All right, for the Premiere Pro test, we're gonna take a mixed timeline with 4K footage. I've got three clips, one from a RED, I've got one from a DJI 4K, which is really difficult to work with, and also 4K from a Canon C200 cinema camera. It's a three minute clip. Okay, so we're gonna warp stabilize 256 frames of the C200 4K footage. Okay, so the Trash Can Mac did this in 2 minutes and 55 seconds, which is 153 seconds. The MacBook Pro crushed it 1 minute 55 seconds, which is 93 seconds. The Mac Pro with 8 gig video card did it in 132 seconds, which is 2 minutes and 20 seconds. The Mac Pro with the 32 gig card was quite a bit faster than Mac Pro 8, but slower than the MacBook Pro coming in at 121 seconds, which is just over two minutes, two minutes and two seconds. Now we're gonna change the duration of the speed to 350%. And just to see if it plays back, it actually plays back perfectly on all of the machines with the exception of the Trash Can Mac Pro. No surprise there. Now we're gonna encode this 4K footage to a YouTube preset at 1080, so it has to resize it. So encoding, it's no surprise the Trash Can Mac Pro is the slowest, coming in at five minutes and seven seconds. The MacBook Pro really surprised me, a mere one minute and 34 seconds, which was slightly faster than the Mac Pro 8 gig, which came in at one minute 39 seconds. The clear winner in this one was the MacBook Pro with the 32 gig card, coming in at one minute. Now we're gonna encode four minutes and 12 seconds of a multi-format track where we've got six tracks of audio, we've got numerous tracks of video, plus we've got motion graphics, overlays, uh, we've got a mixture here of 1080 and 4K here on this timeline, and we're gonna encode it right now. Okay, so the trash can crawled along at seven minutes and 20 seconds. The MacBook Pro, incredibly fast at two minutes and 42 seconds, beating out the Mac Pro uh, with the eight gig card at three minutes and 20 seconds. But the winner in this encoding was the Mac Pro 32 gig coming in at only two minutes and 23 seconds. So the next challenge is gonna be After Effects. We're gonna give it a complex After Effects uh, project with multiple layers, nested layers, effects, and let's see how fast this can render this out. The After Effects test, the Trash Can Mac Pro came in at 4 minutes and 21 seconds. The MacBook Pro came in at 2 minutes and 36 seconds, which is inching ahead of the Mac Pro 8 gig at 2 minutes and 40, which is almost the same but slightly behind was the Mac Pro 32 gig at 2 minutes and 42 seconds. 
So for the next challenge, we're going to have a look at Lightroom Classic. And so what we're going to look at is actually creating big, huge HDR panoramas. The first test we're going to do in Lightroom is we're going to create an HDR pano. So I've already created 12 HDR photos, each one with five photo bracket. So that means there's actually 30 photos in total. I've already done the HDR and we're just going to merge these into a panorama and it's going to come out at an 11,000 by 5,000 pixels. So this first test in Lightroom, the Trash Can Mac Pro was at 55 seconds. The MacBook Pro came in at 37.75 seconds, beating the Mac Pro 8 gig at 39 seconds. And the fastest one here was the Mac Pro 32 gig coming in at 37 seconds. Now we're going to take nine raw files and we're going to merge them into an HDR panorama. The Trash Can Mac Pro, 41.93 seconds. The MacBook Pro was the winner on this one at 21 seconds. The Mac Pro with the 8 gig came in at 31.18. And the Mac Pro 32 gig came in at 31 seconds, just barely faster than the 8 gig. All right, guys, I've saved the best till last, and I'm sure a lot of you have been wondering, okay, how is this machine going to hold up when it comes to Photoshop? So we've got a number of tests right here in Photoshop, and we're going to just create this whopping huge document. <laughs> so let's just get started. This image we're working with is a large HDR panorama. It's 12.2 thousand pixels by 3,000 pixels high. We're going to take this image and scale it up by 300% and it's going to take it to a whopping 37,000 pixels across by 8,500 pixels high. So in resizing, the trash can came in at 1 minute and 20 seconds. The MacBook Pro is still a lot faster than the trash can but lagging behind the others, 27.83 seconds. The Mac Pro 8 gig came in at 9.2 seconds. And the 32 gig Mac Pro came in at 8.4 seconds, clear winner there. So now I'm adding a quick composite layer on top so we can apply a filter. We're gonna do the surface blur, which is quite processor intensive, and we're gonna be using it at 50 radius and threshold of 100. With the filtering, the trash can Mac came in at one minute and 53 seconds, followed by the MacBook Pro at 14.96 seconds, which was beating the Mac Pro 8 gig at 20.27 seconds. But the clear winner here is the Mac Pro 32 gig coming in at a mere 11.5 seconds. Now we're going to save out this beast of a file. It's a 2.27 gigabyte file. We'll need to save it out as a PSB and let's see how fast these SSDs write. And saving the file, which is really a test of the SSD. The trash can Mac Pro, which has SSD in it, came in at 21 seconds. The fastest of this group was the MacBook Pro at 17.16 seconds, barely beating out the Mac Pro 8 gig at 17.93 seconds. And that was actually faster than the Mac Pro 32 gig at 18.7 seconds. All right, guys, so there we go. The results are in, and uh, honestly, they're very surprising. The real dark horse out of all of this, I think, is actually the MacBook Pro 16-inch. This guy really held up well, and uh, in fact, even gave these guys a run for their money and beat them in some of the Photoshop tasks. Now, looking at all of these machines compared to this, you can see, you know, I'm definitely going to be happy to replace this because this is literally up to the last video I released I've been using this for seven years. All the videos you guys have been watching have been coming from this uh, Trash Can Mac Pro. And as you can see, all of these machines are significantly faster. So what does this mean to you? I guess one of the conclusions you might have for that is if you're using it for Photoshop, you're using it for graphics, for Lightroom, and you're not really doing a lot of video, or even if you are doing some video, you know, maybe this is all you need. Um, you don't necessarily need this. But of course, the advantage of this is the desktop machine. You know, we can expand this. You know, we can add new video cards in later on. The 16 gig uh, Vega video card is coming out pretty soon. And I think that might be a good option. You know, this one here, obviously, we're stuck with the 8 gig. You can't uh, upgrade this at all. So longevity, you're going to get more time out of the Mac Pro. And then also, you've got all the different accessories and peripherals and stuff that you can plug in. 
All right, so the conclusions that I kind of come to is the Mac Pro here with the 32 gig video card is uh, substantially faster at rendering. So if you're doing a lot of video work, rendering a lot of video, um, I think this is a good choice. I'm going to be happy with it because it's going to save me a lot of time of rendering, especially compared to this. So anyway, guys, I think this was a pretty revealing test. I'm really curious what you guys think about the results and what they mean to you. Let me know in the comments underneath. Also, don't forget to check out my unboxing of these, you know, where I talk about the different configurations. We look inside, we take them out and just basically go through the different specs and things on these machines. Uh, check that video out. And also, if you're new here to Photoshop Cafe and you like tech reviews and you're a creative pro and you also like, you know, Photoshop, maybe Lightroom tutorials, uh, consider hitting that subscribe button, become part of the Cafe crew and you'll get a new video from me every week. Ring the notification bell so you know when I upload. Smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.